everybody in here. Got my coffee sitting out on my porch. And I spent the night in this house last night. And you know what? It was gosh darn comfortable. Thought it was going to be freezing cold, but it wasn't. I think it got down to maybe 34, 36, not sure. But um, the good thing is, is it had been pretty warm all day. So it wasn't a cold frigid day all day. And it wasn't cold frigid all night. I turned the buddy heater on just for a little tiny while. And um, that was great. It was nice and comfortable. Um, the bed wasn't pitching one way or the other. And it was nice. I'll be glad when I have a bed platform. I really need that. That's going to be my first thing that I'm going to get. I know I need insulation, but insulation is just going to take a lot of money and a lot of time. So I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. But I did want to tell you that I found out who was doing the turnaround, and it was the mail carrier. Now, I removed the, the, the boards, of course. Um, that was pretty stupid, but I was angry. Um, but I saw them pull up uh, late yesterday afternoon, and uh, they kind of slowed down to where I had it blocked off down there at the end and um, kind of read the sign. I've got a posted sign out there. And uh, they just kind of, well, what they ended up doing is not turning into my drive. He backed up and turned into my neighbor's drive. And so I don't know if I should call the post office and let them know that there's a turnaround at the end of the street. I know that I've seen them do it before. So I don't know what's going on, but... Um, you know, they they shouldn't feel entitled to use my drive to turn around. And it makes sense because of how he pulled in just to be using that part of the drive. Um, it's been a repetitive thing. So somebody's been doing it for a long time, probably way before I even got here. And um, I think they got like little four-wheel drive Jeeps that they go around in out here. But... Um, so they need to just stop. They shouldn't pull into anybody's drive. They should just turn around. You know, and I could see if it was a paved driveway. I wouldn't have a problem. But, you know, I got a situation going down there at the end of my road. And uh, at the end of my drive, rather. And the repeated injury from, you know, him pulling in the exact same way every single day is just going to keep that drive destroyed. I don't care if the city does come out and fix the culvert. It's still going to wear and tear on that part of the drive. So I don't know if I should call the mail, um, the, the post office, and just tell them, look, tell your letter carrier to go to the end of the street and just do the turnaround there. It would take five seconds. In fact, it would probably take less time just to keep going straight and turn around in the turnaround than to have to do the backing up, the forward, the backing up, the forward. Um, so, I don't know. But anyhow, yeah, mystery solved. That's who it was. It was the mail carrier. Anyhow, today, um, I think that I am just going to get the rest of my things out of the van. And that means, well, as of last night, at any rate, uh, I will no longer be sleeping in the van. Um, that means when I go to work, I will be coming home. A little bit of extra gas, but that's okay. I don't mind... This is my home. I have a home to go home to. It feels a little weird not having my home with me. And so I don't know. I don't know. The, the real kicker is, is whether or not I'm going to be able to tomorrow go to work and leave Betty behind. I don't know if I can do it. So I'm going to unpack the rest of the van, bring it in, kind of get things a little bit organized. It's going to kind of look, you know, sort of... Um, shabby inside my cabin for a while but little by little I'm gonna be fixing it up but like I said the first thing is the bed frame and um, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like here in a minute I got it on my Amazon wish list it's very basic um, because I'm gonna use my at least for the time being my bed for a couch as well so anyhow um, well I'll uh, I'll come back after I've done a few projects 
This is the bed frame that I want. I've got it on my Amazon wish list. It's only $50 and I like it because it's constructed in a way, well, it's a platform. So you don't have to have a box frame up underneath of your mattress. It's 14 inches off the ground. So I'll be able to store stuff underneath of it, just like in the van. And it's very simple, very basic. I like it. And uh, that's the way I want my whole cabin to be. Just very, very simple. And that's what my bed looks like a day after. Got my PJs over there, got my toiletries and whatnot over there. I made a little makeshift nightstand out of two cinder blocks that came with the house and that little piece of wood that I cut off of this piece of wood. And if you've been watching my channel, you probably recognize those. Um, I've just added them to my kitchen area. I've just got the water underneath there because I can easily get water out of this thing. And just keeping my buddy heater over there. And yep, this floor needs to be swept yet again. Ha! <laughs> but it was pretty comfortable in here last night. I gotta tell you, I did not feel cold at all. Not at all. So yeah, I wanted to show my dad what the ceiling looked like so he could get an idea of how I'm gonna have to insulate it and whatnot. Um, I'll be insulating definitely up to the peak but I'm not, I mean, I'll have to put the paneling or whatever I'm going to do up this way, then this way, then down that way. Um, so I can't wait to get started on that. It's just going to take some time and some money, but it's going to come. Oh, look at this. You know what I'm doing today? I am washing my hair, but you don't get to watch me do it. <laughs> Well, I had thought of, you know, filming some more stuff, me doing little this, that, and the other, but it'd be super boring. I'm just going to carry a few more things in from the van once it stops raining. It is raining here. It's going to be raining tomorrow. I've got to go to work tomorrow, and I've got a big decision. Am I going to take Betty with me, or am I going to leave her here? She just gets so stressed out in the van driving around with me in the city, so... I don't know, I think it might be healthier for her just to stay here, but it's going to be very, very strange. She's been with me 24-7 for a very long time, and I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see what I do. But I think I'm just going to take the rest of the day just to kind of chill out and relax and um, enjoy myself, make a nice meal. So, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.